pylon at his ramp, exactly, exactly the same as last time. Much oh. faster expansion, though. One gate expands. Oh, this is a little bit of a cheese build. A uh, little bit of a cheese build. Four gate, uh, four gate will beat the uh, like one gate expand straight up. Pretty much nothing you can do about it. Uh, I guess he's hoping that cross positions will put him far enough away that he can attempt it. It won't. If he un if he unspots it, it's dead. Basically, yeah. Um, in PvP, of uh, one gate, I'm not saying fast expansions aren't possible. Certainly, on some maps and certain positions, and executed in certain ways, a fast expand is a plausible build. However, cross positions metalopolis PvP, a one gate expand is a cheese build. Really? Absolutely. I never thought of that. Because, because if I mean, it's 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 economy cheese. Like, but mm -hmm. yeah, cheese is something that. Is, is, is a strategy that is only successful if it's not scouted. And if Eon X scouts, scouts this expansion, it's, and which he has, he's seen it. It's a so little is, bit of aggression. So is like, is like a one rax fast expand for Terran considered a, a, a economy cheese? No, no, because you can defend that. There are ways where if, if you scout a one rax expansion from a Terran, uh, a Terran can still play in a way that defends that expansion. Okay, yeah, no, granted, because, I mean, I've defended plenty of early rushes with, uh, 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 like, a one or two uh, racks expand. Um, so, basically, you're just saying that for a Protoss player, for pro for the Protoss as a race, fast expands are... In, in PvP, fast expands are cheese. Okay. I, I getcha. And I apologize uh, again, if it seems to be wrong with my mouse a little bit. Um, I apologize. It's map-dependent, uh, and it is, it is positional and map-dependent, and build-dependent. Um... A two gate or a two gate or a three gate fast expand, maybe, maybe. A robo fast expand, maybe, maybe one gate fast expand or Nexus first though. Uh, if it's Nexus first or one gate, it's it's cheese. Like if you look at just like the army counting station right now, if, imagine if okay if Eon had four gated, that four gate would have hit the expansion about a minute and a half ago. Hmm. If he had done the right four gate. Right. And ex executed it smoothly. It hits at about six minutes, maybe six minutes, ten seconds, and uh, that expansion was about half done. And Mini Man had like three units, and and Eon would have had, uh, well, six, probably probably ten. Well, he would have had six, and then he would have had four to warp in to reinforce. So he would have had ten total. Um, but instead, Eon isn't doing anything about it, and Mini Man's just getting way ahead. Yeah, it, uh, again, I mean, it seems a lot in these, uh, obviously, lower leagues, people are, aggression kind of freaks people out a little bit. They always feel like their opponent is way ahead of them, uh, and that's why scouting and information is such a huge part of StarCraft II. If you know what your opponent is up to, then uh, you you know what you can practice. do to, to beat them. But but again, it's just it's just practice. It's uh, it's good game sense. Um, it's making sure to always be working to know what your, your opponent is doing. By the way, game sense, is this really, like, Ambiguous concept that you keep that you keep using, and it's right. It is game sense, but I think a lot of people don't really understand what game sense means. Like, what it means to have good game sense, and basically that's uh, when you figure out that, like, if you spot a fast expand, and and you've seen it happen a couple times, and you watch replays, you know you can know uh, from from just uh, an analysis, simple analysis that any player can do that. He will not have enough to stop a four gate. That he right. will not have enough to stop a four gate. Which means if you scout that fast expand, you never have to scout again that game. You just have to four gate. And that's what game sense is. Yeah, and it, it's it's. I mean, even I, I'd even venture to say that it's stuff like, uh, for example, when Zeltsum sees two armies clashing, like we're about to see here, he almost knows a lot earlier. Uh, Who's gonna Who's gonna be victorious? As compared to me, where I'm a lot more in the dark. I, I you know, it's like, oh, well, he might still win, but you know, that that kind of comes with just seeing it over and over and time and time and time again, uh, and and kind of knowing the game inside and out. Um, so, yeah, obviously, the more you the more you yeah, play, like, but like but then right again, now? I mean, we had we had another player earlier who had like 890 games on the ladder played, and was still in silver. With, very little game uh, sense, it looks so. like it looks like uh, Eon X is gonna attack and uh, there still hasn't been quite enough time to get enough out of this expansion yet and Eon's gonna push in here and this is gonna do a lot of damage a lot a lot of damage nice, nice force field. cutting off the zealots completely for a long time 
Hallucinated Colossus is not going to do anything because uh, he saw it get hallucinated. Uh, some hallucinated Zealous taking some hits, but it's not going to do much. Uh, the the All that's left is an immortal in the century, trying to warp in as much as he can. But of course, warped in units do take extra damage as they're warping in. All that's left is a cannon and an expansion. ENX needs to just keep attacking. It looked like for a second he was going to pull back, and I was like, don't do that. <laughs> Kill the expansion. Looks and like he is indeed killing the expansion. Miniman saying he played poorly. That, uh... I, I think Eon played just really, really strong here. I mean, he had... Uh, he, he attacked pretty much the exact same time, uh, or a very similar time with a very similar composition, and, and kind of just raffle stomped his opponent. Uh, I don't know if he knew about that expansion before he attacked into it, um, but, I mean, we were talking about just good scouting and stuff. I mean, um... Yeah, if you see your your opponent fast expanding like that, you're like, you're like okay, I'll, I'll I'll just go transition into killing your whole fucking base. <laughs> uh, pretty pretty simple stuff. Um, and, and again, I you know I just learned that 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 that's like economy cheese, and um, and and it makes a whole lot of sense because it relies on your opponent not seeing it, which which kind of uh, to me is is kind of a def is one definition of cheese. If you're relying on that, it means it's very uh, gimmicky. Um, unfortunately, so anyway, we're going to be going into the finals in a minute here.